Manchester United's struggles emphasised now with a run of games extremely important to them. And in front of goal, is Romelu Lukaku still the man to be the focal point for the attack? That's a question for today, Craig. What's your feeling on him? He's gone a little bit dry of late. My feeling is that he'll get a bit more time, uh, but ultimately, if Mourinho... And, and I suppose it comes down to is Mourinho trying to save his job? And in some sense, the argument would be yes. And the other side of that argument would be, well, the writing's already on the wall no matter what results are. So you can look at it from two different ways. What we do know, and you mentioned that there, and there's something we've been talking about in the FC show the last couple of days. Uh, Chelsea, Juventus, Everton, Bournemouth, Juventus, Man City. <laughs> for a team that is, uh, what, could have been 3 or 4 nil down against Newcastle at the weekend. Came back, albeit to win. So this is not going to be a, a time, Ross, for anyone who's not playing well. Because Mourinho knows the only thing, the only thing that's going to stave off the Glazers and Ed Woodward is results that will at least keep the fans on his side. And so he's going to need Lukaku in top form for those games. If he's not, he's out. Because they've got a replacement in Rashford. Yes, uh, he's an enigma in certain sense because it, his record speaks for itself in terms of numbers of goals. One in two for the last six years running. He's still only 25. But his record against the big teams is always counting against him. That one goal that he got against the top six last year against his old club, Chelsea, who they play in this upcoming run of form. Yeah. That was his first ever goal in the Premier League against Chelsea in eight attempts. So that's where his problems have been. But how much do you pile on him? Do you rate him as the guy to see them through this crisis? No, but he's, a, he's one of a, a number of United players that I think, once Mourinho goes, will have to be outed by the new regime, You know, whether it be a sporting director and a new manager or just a new manager. Uh, sort of getting ahead of myself here, but he's not he's not the only one. He's a, he's a good player, uh, but I think watching him lately, you know, he's, he's not making the right runs. I wouldn't call him a clever striker. He's big and powerful, of course he is. He does get his, 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 his ratio of goals, of course. The graphic would tell you there uh, that it's against the, the weaker teams. There's probably another graphic from years ago that might, might negate that argument. I'm not sure. Uh, but ultimately, he'll get a chance against the so-called bigger teams because they've got some big games coming up. But... It, the other side of the coin is, as I say, if he's not playing well and he's not making the runs, Rashford is a natural striker. They've got a replacement. Yes, he's young, but he's an international. He's got experience. He's quick. He's clever. He's not prepared, He's not frightened to try anything. And if, if Lukaku's not cutting it over the next game or two, he's going to have to get him out of the team. Simple as that. OK, so 10 days away, the game against Chelsea for Romelu Lukaku and Manchester United kick-starting that incredibly important spell in the season and, of course, for the future of Jose Mourinho. He'll need this guy firing on all four cylinders, that's for sure.